Uh, Uman Wang is keeping it going. I would like to thank them, and I hope everybody is having an enjoyable day. And the next panel is something that will open all of our uh, horizons, and we will focus on the common denominators. And this is these are the two important topics that I really give importance: arts and volunteer visit. We take national from. The one woman will be the moderator, and we will get uh, uh, valuable opinions about these two topics. I would like to leave the word to Ipek. I would like to say hello to everyone. My name is Epek Nastinar, UN Women, UN We. We have discussed our campaigns and the UN Women Unit, and now we will discuss another topic in a very good and efficient panel. We will talk about arts and volunteerism. And before presenting my speakers, I would like to talk about my journey of volunteerism. In fact, I started as a UN volunteer. And it is uh, our job is called UN Women We, and I am working as the communication assistant for He for She project. And there are also other projects about uh, dubbing, voiceover, and volunteerism. It's one of the centers of my life. And being a volunteer is something very good. Unfortunately, well, people think that volunteerism is something give to give something uh, without anything in return, and they can hesitate. But in fact, volunteerism is more than that. It is even more than getting return of a something. It is a spiritual return, and it is a doing good. And today, we can talk about volunteerism in a long way. But uh, the, the the topic of this panel is arts. Now that we have mentioned music, I would like to say this. In fact, artists' uh, music uh, have been affected by COVID-19. As you know, in this panel, music is important and we have an important name for music as all our valuable guests. But uh, during the COVID-19 period, I sing, sang a song on YouTube. I'm also singing and I have a YouTube channel. And I said, why isn't it possible to have music, to make music without seeing each other? So I started a quarantine series in foreign countries. And here in our country, we gather with different musicians and we are performing music even if uh, distantly and we have nice moments and we share the videos on this youtube channel and we say good things are possible even during this period and now that we have been talking about the music i would like to hear from Gen uh, the general art director masis aram gelsbeck was the jazz choir masis welcome I would like to say hi to everyone. I am very excited. I'm so glad to be with you on such a special day. Thank you very much for inviting me. So how does it, Moses, especially this is the first weekend that we're uh, in, in lockdown and we are gathering in a very nice organization. Well, yes, in a sense, it is a very good time because with this event, I think this is the opportunity to reach more people, and we are used to it, actually. We got used to it in the recent period as well. We have the periods in the past. What is important is to be together as much as possible so that, the, so that we can share, and we can turn this into an advantage. That's why this has been an enjoyable day, and I have been following all the speeches ever since the morning. And I would like to congratulate everyone. Thank you. And I'm so glad to be the moderator of this beautiful panel. Moses, actually, we have watched your videos from time to time and we have seen one performance just a while ago. In fact, we are curious, how did this story start? And we would like to hear the position of volunteerism here. Well, first of all, thank you very much. Thank you. And I would like to thank ev everyone who contributed to these performances. Well, volunteerism, uh, volunteerism just at the center of this. Let me tell our story very br briefly. Well, I started studying mathematics at Bosnia university in 2005 and then i discovered there are music choirs at university and then my story started to shape and i was always actually singing songs as of a childhood and then i decided to sing a song sing songs in the jazz jazz choir and after two performances our chef was jihan and jihan decided to go to the u.s 
to continue his education, and he left the choir to me. And I became the head of the choir in 2007. And for four years at the university, I was active in the music club. And we worked so hard. And I don't even know when to, where to start. But volunteerism is just at the heart of everything here. So for four years, we have increased the number from five to seven, and then we have become 20 and then 20, 34. And as of our first year, we performed in Austria, China. And we took part in contests like the World Choir Contest. They are large scope contests, and we were rewarded. And of course, we learned a lot when, while doing so in 2011. Bizleri tanıma vesilesi olan bir metro videosu. A lot of people had to, had the opportunity to know us. There was the metro video. I don't know whether you watched that video. Was it a jazz choir was known by this video? And actually, we were looking for sponsors in order to do that. And we put a lot of effort. And uh, then we decided to do this. And we could raise our voice. And we found a sponsor. And at that moment, we had to leave our uh, ways with the university because of the and, uh, problems with the project and then with the name Bozici Jazz Choir we went to the championship in the past our name was Bozici University Jazz Choir but then we changed our rotation and then we took part in the championship and in the two categories we became the world champion we came back to Turkey after that and there was no place to work but a lot of NGOs associations organizations actually responded to these calls and they provided us with uh, supports we continued to work as well and people outside university participated in the choir we have more diversified repertoire and we have a stronger team in 2012 there were, there were very important uh, festivals in Hungary and Italy and we were rewarded six medals and I will say something very important, 100,000 euros. We actually undertook such a debt in order to get to these festivals. And then we could pay that debt in five years. And I was 24 years old back then. And I was under the debt of $100,000. But when thinking about all the preparation and the motivation, I think I wouldn't just waste that motivation. Uh, well, if you ask whether I would do the same thing now, most probably not. But I don't regret my decision. Even painfully, we paid that debt. And then we have succeeded in 2013. There was Gizi protest in Turkey, one of the biggest public movements. And then we came up with a spontaneous performance. Well, this choir music has become recognized and it is liked in Turkey. And maybe even people on the street and we, I can say, we are seeing a different aspect of the multi-voice choir. I would like to talk a little bit about that because now we are taking part in the most pre pre prestigious festivals and contests and we have championship and gold medals and we get invitations as well. And we are also representing Anatolian music in the strongest way possible as Bozici Choir, uh, Jazz Choir. In 2014, we established Bozici Youth uh, Choir as well. You also watched the performance of this choir. And uh, we established the Magna community in 2016. And four other choirs came out of this Magna performance and Magra Maga, Maga Youth Choir, and Magma Preparation. And at this point, we have six active choirs, and their members are between six and 14 years, years old, and we have 400 amateur singers as well. I underline amateur especially because it means a lot, because when it is combined with volunteerism, it is something excellent. And there are also graduate platforms at, at the same time, and in Turkey, we are, we have started a project in seven provinces of Turkey and in seven different languages, dialects of Anatolia. And we are representing different cultures in, in these songs, and uh, we are drafting and designing these projects. Actually, we are uh, inspiring millions. And we are introducing choir music 
with solidarity, helping and sharing and listening to each other, to understand each other. These are uh, represented by choir music and uh, human, human values are also represented. And for four years under university, we have represented these values and then independently we have been continuing to represent these values. In our 10th year, thousands of people contributed to our performance, both in Turkey and abroad. And with great excitement and love and passion, we are putting forward to, uh, to perform despite all the challenges and difficulties. And we have never given up this passion. We are a big family for that reason at this point. I cannot say something extra additional about volunteerism because all of the things that we do is centered upon volunteerism, including me, all the management staff is not making any money at all. For many years, we work 724 and we all have different professions, of course, but uh, our biggest passion is to bring something good to Turkey and to show the miracle of choir music to a lot of people as much as possible. For that reason, I would like to thank all the management staff, Gülüm, Ekrem, Ushil. I would like to thank all trainers and everyone who contributed and who have become a part of this large family. I would like to thank everyone and, and I'm so glad and uh, I'm indebted. And my last thanks go to someone who provided us our working place and they also provided a support to volunteerism projects, especially in culture, arts and ATIM, Ujel Culture Foundation. Thank you. Thank you very much. And hopefully choir music will grow and we will grow it together with this love and passion. And we will spread this love and passion to all Turkey and the world. Masis, thank you very much. You explained very well. Thank you very much. Well, especially from time to time, since my childhood, I also sang in different choirs. And in, in fact, multiphony music and choir is something based on solidarity. And it is exactly what makes it perfect, because not just one. There are more than one spirits and voices, and they come together. They create unbelievable effect. So thank you very much for sharing with us this nice and pleasant story. Of course, this leaves a positive effect. Was it a jazz, jazz choir? Of course, we have uh, elaborated, but in this panel, we will talk about different topics as well. And one of the topics that we would like to raise is COVID-19 and its negative effects on artists, because unfortunately, it has some negative effects on uh, artists. We will discuss the effects on artists in every aspect. So now I would like to invite my other speaker. Panelist Galata Perform, General Art Director, Theatre Cooperative, Vice uh, President Nazar, uh, author and actress Yeshim Asoy is with us. Miss Yeshim, welcome. Evet, uh, <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. How about you? We are also fine, thank you very much. So we are together on a beautiful day. Moses, you made a very good introduction. And uh, this is a very prolific project, Basichi Jazz Choir. And uh, I can say that choirs are actually giving rise to different choirs. And one of the biggest reasons is actually this productivity, pro being prolific and producing and creating. This is uh, my opinion. One of the biggest reasons uh, is about giving and be being prolific. And I think volunteerism is related in that sense. When it comes to my field, uh, we are talking about theater and private theater and cooperatives. And I'm the vice president of a theater cooperatives as well. For that reason, I will be talking about another uh, field, which is independent as well. Boazichi Jazz Choir is also an independent one that is standing on its own feet and it is performing in foreign countries as well. And we are the same. We are actually existing in an independent field. And this existence is mostly based on volunteerism because uh, it, it is about some things not functioning and sometimes it is about preference you can be amateur and this can be through passion and love and when it comes to this point it is not with a commercial purpose and when you do that it's a different equivalent but of course 
when we think about uh, theaters in Turkey, I can say most of them have, uh, have been working on volunteerism basis, if not for, if not based uh, on certain commercial purposes. Otherwise, it is not going to be possible to exist. When we think about the budget of an actress or actor, there is a difference between the, the revenues that they can get from a series, TV show or theater. I can say that in theater there is solidarity performance and Galata Perform is the same because we are in a small place. Galata Perform is in Galata and it was established in 2013. It is a small theater. However, we, then we grew and we started to produce projects, author writing projects, and we have projects related to uh, other countries as well. We have volunteering uh, projects as well. So we have open spaces for authors and script writers. But of course, fundamentally, there is volunteerism in this initiative. It is not only with commercial purposes, because in real sense, our purpose is to contribute to Turkey's theaters. And uh, this has been possible be, uh, with people who have faith in this uh, regard, because I think there is there is very clear connection between faith, between your belief, and also volunteerism. What what values do you believe in? What will change you? What will transform you? These are so important topics. Honestly, the, these are the fundamental, the cornerstones of uh, existence of human beings. And I did research, and actually, what really creates identity of people. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself to search others, to serve others. So I did research and I came across this approach and I think this is the correct one. Because your choices, your preferences, your responsibilities and your beliefs and what you like and what you have faith in, these are all quite related with your existence. And when we think about theater cooperative, um, in 2018, it was established. It was still young. However, we started with 15 theaters. And before the pandemic, we had 32 theaters. And right now, we have 65 theaters within our body. We are representing 65 theaters. And I am in the board of directors as a volunteer. I am vice president of the board of directors. And so far, we have been collaborating with independent theaters and contemporary theaters and we are together in every field and we are always i have always volunteered in all of these activities and this will continue to be so because honestly our problems are not ending and the independent area art is actually not very strong in terms of communication well, the communication of this independent area with municipalities is not very strong. For that reason, we have to stand on our own feet. Of course, there are some positive aspects to it, but all NGOs and theater cooperatives or other NGOs that also improve these relationships to express themselves, and at the same time, they need to consolidate their connections. In, in addition to that, they should also increase their visibility to municipalities or the state or the government. So they are also respons responsible in that sense. And theater cooperative is also like that. Before COVID-19, we had 32 theaters, and right now we have 65. Honestly, I started to serve in, in November 2019, and it was just exactly when the pandemic started. As of March, we are trying to manage a crisis because we're always losing. There are scenes that are closed, and we have theater groups that are having challenges honestly and for that reason we are trying to cope up with these problems because their problems are also our problems and together with COVID-19 we have more challenges and we have to tackle them and sharing and solidarity between theaters is quite important and also there is the volunteerism relationship with colleagues and we have started to re-establish connections and there are so many campaigns right now and as cooperative, uh, we also have to increase our visibility for, uh, and we have expressed ourselves to the ministries and municipalities. So we, we informed that about the challenges because of COVID-19 and the same case is for musicians in arts areas. I think one, one of the big, the most dangerous 
areas is actually coming together uh, in closed areas because of COVID-19. And of course, we are subject to um, a big challenge in that sense. So, if there is a symphony musician, if, there, if you were a symphony musician, maybe you could continue with uh, support from the government, but in theater, there is almost no support. For that reason, it, it is really um, hurting. It is damaging the area. For that reason, we have to take certain actions, and the volunteerism that we have uh, discussed has started to be established with theaters and spectators right now, because theaters are trying new things as a solutions and we are also following uh, and sending our files to the authorities and we can achieve certain things but there is the basic uh, the thing that we are doing and this is to form support campaigns in order to keep theaters going and in terms of uh, providing i think actually theater will be giving back what uh, spectators love and what spectators are passionate about. So, in a way, our purpose uh, is to support theaters in that sense, and I think it is quite valuable, and NGOs in Turkey are developing funds as one of their core areas, and I think this is quite valuable because it is not as, as effective in arts, providing support or donating to an arts organization. Because in the US there are museums, for example, and you see that there are like pages of donations and how they say, I give $20 or $10,000, so they're providing such kinds of donations in arts organizations as well. So I think arts and volunteerism are quite important from this perspective, especially in Turkey. In the field of arts, that volunteerism should be consolidated with the spectators and with other actors. Together with the mission, this balance can be strengthened and it is a condition to, to sustain theaters. I don't know whether I, I have talked too much because there are so many things to discuss, but at this point I would like to leave the word to the other uh, uh, panelists. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much and to use our time efficiently. I would like to invite another name, the Need Map Partnership and Operation Director. Mehmet Sarıcav. Welcome. <laughs> so your background is very nice. Uh, so I really wanted to put a library at the background, uh, but uh, I think this is as valuable as a library because uh, this is uh, our trees. Okay, what do you want to say? And what do you want to say about these issues about art? Uh, so I think they're very important. So the floor is yours. So working in uh, the NGOs for the last 20 years, so I have participated in most of the NGOs as a volunteer and also as a professional, and I read it up to that day. And uh, we, uh, disaster is one of them, and the other one is human aid, rural, uh, rural development. Uh, and everyone is at home and uh, so uh, everyone uh, stopped uh, most of the things because it's not possible because of the pandemic you cannot be in the fields and we're most of the time at home and we're taking care of it uh, from uh, huge distances and uh, first of all let's talk about this need map a map, a map of needs and so that was a quite remedy for this problem because for the last five years uh, we are organizing such kind of uh, events and uh, it's like an online system and we are trying to meet uh, and we're trying to the connection between the people who are donating and for between the people who are in need of it and most of the people uh, so uh, so actually it's an old culture for us so we uh, if there's a need uh, we uh, need to do someone else and will help it and uh, so solidarity is one of the most important thing in the culture and uh, of course what we observe is within the last five years the people are not able to see who are in need even it's very close by 
let's say that there's a neighbor, there's someone on the street, and there are people living on the streets, and they are not in communication with another, so we actually do not know what the other people need, and we are not aware of this. And during the epidemic, uh, we experience uh, that uh, the solidarity increases because people are much more cautious about the needs of the other people. And some of the people, some of, uh, some of the groups of profession, especially we're talking about art right now, there are some people who are working on a daily basis, so they're earning their sustenance daily. And when they cannot work that day, they cannot earn any money, so they cannot uh, buy their sustenance, they cannot buy their basic needs because they're working on a daily basis, especially we're talking about the art community. And this lasted like this for months. So we have to work together, we're always saying this. In the previous panels as well, we are thinking that this uh, disaster is also one part of it. As also uh, Yeshim mentioned in the theater and the music, uh, uh, all kinds of the people from different parts of the art, uh, we uh, see that we need this kind of a solidarity. So the NGOs, uh, the uh, other institutions, the other platforms, they're working together and they're creating a solidarity. If they can, uh, the people are uh, creating sponsorships uh, within this regard, and by means of this, uh, we initiated this online digital transformation, and we initiated our studies with the online transformation. We are uh, working with the theater syndication and we're working with the actors and artists. They are our partners in this union. And we have 101 uh, artists and they're reading poets and they published this in the website. And uh, so there are so many other people who are eating uh, by means of those services. And most of them are. Uh, and we are trying to understand what people are trying to do. And uh, they're trying to understand what the people are doing, maybe as a protocol. If you take any precautions with this sickness, it is uh, contagious to everyone. But uh, it's important that you have to have uh, the right conditions. And so this is there is no exceptional, and uh, so it is happening to everyone. And uh, we want to optimize uh, our donations. We want to optimize our works, and we're working on uh, this behalf. Right now, uh, we in the past, we used to think that uh, we need to reach the people who are needed in certain things, but uh, this is not something material, because right now everyone is in need of something, because someone needs a psychological consultancy, some other people need other things. Now, the older society is in need of something, and uh, we need more solidarity within the society. Um, we apologize, Mr. Mehmet. I think there are some technical problems. We have a difficulty in hearing you, I think, because of your internet connection. It's not only me. Uh, as far as I am informed from the technical department, uh, your internet connection is quite problematic. 
Okay, esteemed audience, uh, we talk, uh, we're talk. we talking about very nice things uh, So, in the art and voluntarism panel. So, Mr. Me Mehmet had a connection problem, but we would like to thank Mr. Mehmet for his participation. And now, uh, if you allow me, uh, we will uh, be focusing on the protection of the artist. So, what can we do about that? How can the art be protected and the artist can be protected? And uh, I uh, am inviting all the panelists uh, to our next uh, session. And uh, now I'm checking our technical team uh, because there had been uh, problems. And in this digital environment, of course, it is uh, different uh, from being face to face. We cannot get the same energy all the time, but still we're doing our best uh, to keep it as vigorous as possible. Okay, we can proceed with our uh, speakers. Mr. Mehmet, you're back. Can you hear us? Okay, welcome again. Mr. Mehmet, uh, are you connected? I think there's a problem there. So the sound is coming with a delay. So can you ask your question again as well? Uh, so we are talking about the importance of the art uh, and the artist. So what can we do more? And uh, so what else we can do? For instance, uh, where does the volunteerism uh, stands? And uh, for instance, uh, what can we do? How can we call the volunteers, especially about theater, for music? And uh, so we can get to your opinions related with that. Uh, first of all, uh, right now, uh, there are so many support campaigns, and they can support them, they can donate them, uh, they can donate. So we can get the donation as the corporation, uh, but also they can work voluntary. But right now, the theaters do have support campaigns, and it's important that they should be supporting. They can directly support it. We don't have this kind of a capacity because we are a social corporation, and we cannot uh, distribute and allocate the budget, so they can do it directly. Uh, so we have another campaign called uh, so it is like uh, a ticket selling and other than that uh, about the voluntarism since we are in the epidemic uh, so uh, the um, stages are closed the theater are closed and there's nothing to do about this but I think uh, the children as of their childhood uh, the uh, families can trigger uh, their children uh, to uh, be part of the theater because when we go to Germany, when you go to Europe, we always go to an opera and we always, uh, they always try to experience the backstage and they work as, and they take part in theater or they sell tickets. Uh, so the theaters are very important and they need such kind of volunteers. But if you say that I want to work in this field, the no one says that, oh, I, we don't want you. They would always hug you. Mrs. Nobs is the best way. So we want to work together and we want to do certain things simultaneously. And before the meeting has started, I made a joke. We have so many hats. We have so many responsibilities, but we didn't mention each of them. And uh, in Turkey, uh, the rule of doing art is uh, you have to be an entrepreneur, uh, you have to be a volunteer, and at the same time, you have to be an artist uh, in order to do that. So you have to be the apprentice, you have to be the servant of the art. Yes, you have to be the servant. You have to be the servant of it. This is it. And but listening to you is great, but we have limited time. Uh, so I would like to continue with Mr. Masis and with uh, Mr. Mehmet, and the floor is yours, Mr. Mrs. Uh, very shortly, uh, so the art and the place of art in our lives, uh, so including us, it is very important. It is such a vital thing in order for us to connect with life, in order to uh, express ourselves, and really uh, to have a quality life. Uh, art is a must have thing. And uh, so the artists and the other people who we are going to be conveying this message, and after that, of course, the society, the needs, and the, the 
pressure of the society, I think it should turn into a state policy. And we see the examples in Venezuela, for instance, El Sistema. Uh, so it is like a public moment. And uh, so it really saved a country uh, from very tough situations. And this journey starts with educating the children. And if we cannot turn into a state policy, we should direct our uh, way to this. So we need to educate young people. We need to invite them to the backstage, to the kitchen of this uh, work. And we have to introduce the enjoyable parts of this uh, journey, because without art, I uh, definitely believe that you cannot get any pleasure from it. That's the reason why in all our rehearsals, in all our backstage, it's all open to you. There are millions of actors and actresses, and they're uh, very happy to be part of this. And they, I believe that they're very happy to part uh, be a volunteer and we have to inject this reality from the beginning as when they're child. Uh, thank you, Mrs. for this information. Mehmet, uh, let's try if we can hear you. And some of the things uh, you couldn't hear me, especially the last part of it. I think uh, some of the people are disturbed because of what I said, and I had this uh, interruption. But let me repeat what I had said previously, and the pandemic will be over, and uh, the crisis will be over. And again, we will be on the streets, and uh, we will go to theaters, to the cinemas, and we will watch movies, we will go to concerts, and we will be looking at our faces again, and we will uh, just, uh, in order to do that, in this period, we have to come over the problems together. We need to look at ourselves, and we need to support the society, and we need to be a volunteer. We need to do good things. We have to have good uh, deeds. And uh, everyone is struggling uh, to support one another. So you have to put your shoulder on this. And uh, this is, uh, of course, for the young people or uh, to the children or to the different groups. Yes, all of the people do have responsibilities and they have to have the solidarity and they have to help uh, the people who are underprivileged. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we have been talking about it from the beginning. Uh, being a volunteer is something from the heart, and the art is very much related to that. And uh, so in the epidemic, uh, so we are uh, passing through tough times. Uh, we are acting that it's uh, everything is normal, but nothing is normal. And uh, But this will change, and with solidarity, if t with togetherness, we can overcome those days. Uh, esteemed guests, thank you all for your participation. Thank you for your messages. And in general terms, uh, thank you uh, for your contribution. And uh, so let's uh, finish the art and voluntarism panel. Uh, I will proceed uh, with the program, and I uh, hope that uh, they will uh, listen the rest of the panels. And uh, very nice panels are waiting for us. Ipek, thank you a lot. And first of all, to you for your nice presentation. And of course, uh, I would like to thank all the committee and uh, United Nations Volunteers Committee, Turkey uh, Volunteers Committee. And I would like to thank everyone uh, who contributed the realization of this amazing uh, meeting. And uh, thank you a lot. And uh, I hope that this International Volunteers Days will be fruitful for everyone. Yes, thank you. Hello again. Uh, so I would like to thank IPEC and our valuable guests uh, for their contribution. And as the volunteers, uh, we are, are uh, trying to understand how we can contribute to the art. As Mrs. also said, uh, without art, nothing uh, has a pleasure. 